It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. In a speech after annexing sections of Ukraine, Vladimir Putin attacked the U.S. for Satanism and denounced the many genders and fashion in the West. It was a hateful, unhinged speech, which has many Americans calling him electable. <laughs> the Kremlin celebrated the illegal annexation of Ukraine with a night of entertainment in Red Square. Say what you will, but a gig's a gig. <laughs> The U.S. Embassy in Moscow is urging all American citizens in Russia to leave immediately. Oh, cool, I'll try to do that, said Brittany Griner. <laughs> Hurric <laughs> Hurricane Ian hit Florida this week, and Governor Ron DeSantis called it a 500-year flooding event. In fact, it's such a historic tragedy that DeSantis won't let them teach about it in Florida schools. <laughs> At at a White House event, President Biden asked if Representative Jackie Walorski was in the audience, asking, where's Jackie? Apparently forgetting she died last month. <laughs> worse, worse, he keeps forgetting that this woman is still alive. <laughs> the Electoral Count Reform Act was approved by all members of a Senate committee, except for Ted Cruz. Coincidentally, everyone except for Ted Cruz is also who Jesus loves. <laughs> Jenny Thomas, who's begging you to notice the scarf. <laughs> so, so she can say, oh, this old thing? <laughs> Reportedly told the committee that her husband was unaware of her involvement in challenges to the 2020 election, and they never discuss any case before the court. And if there's one thing I believe, it's that this guy doesn't talk to his wife. <laughs> Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene revealed that her husband has filed for divorce after 27 years of marriage. He officially blamed irreconcilable differences for the split, while she blamed the Jews. <laughs> Pre President Biden on Friday attended a formal ceremony welcoming Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson to the Supreme Court. Said Biden, and where's Justice Ginsburg? Ruth, come on up here. <laughs> <laughs> Last month, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell expressed concern about Republicans' chances in the midterms, blaming candidate quality. Here to explain what he meant is Mitch McConnell and Georgia Senate candidate Herschel Walker. It's your pleasure. Pleasure. Yeah, let's go team, all right? <laughs> so, Herschel, you're a former NFL player. Yes. With no political experience. That's right. And you were caught lying about having three secret children. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, Senator McConnell, do you really think this guy is ready to be a senator? <laughs> it doesn't matter what I think. It, it, it matters what I say, and I say, go, Herschel Walker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, I love you too, Mitch McConnick. Uh. You see, <laughs> we not so different. Me and Mitch are like two peas in a bag. <laughs> All right, well... <laughs> Herschel, you've already said some pretty bizarre things that they've got some Republicans worried. I mean, for example, you said, quote, our good air decided to float over to China's bad air, so when China gets our good air, the bad air got to move out. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, Chief, I'll slow down so you can understand. Uh, we all know air, right? Uh, air Bud. Uh-huh, yep. Yeah. Air Jordan. Sure. Uh, Aaron Brockovich. Indeed. <laughs> You see, science don't understand. Everybody talking about climate, but what we really should be focusing on is pulling Hawaii closer. Ooh, oh, yeah. Bring that climate over here. <laughs> that's a good idea. Yeah. I like that. I they like don't that. need it. They little. So that's something we need to look at very, very closely. Right, Bish? Uh, right, it's Mitch. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, Senator McConnell, I gotta ask, what qualifications does this guy actually have to be in the Senate? <laughs> well, uh, there's too many to name. Uh, first of all, he played football, and uh, Georgia loves football. Everybody loves football, baseball. In fact, <laughs> man, Catching balls is what makes us different from apes, okay? That's right. That's and right. listen, listen, if we come from apes, 
Why are they still apes out there? <laughs> Riddle me that, Obama Michelle. <laughs> what are you talking about? Do you have any real policy proposals? Of course I do. You know what? I wrote a few down for Mitch on the way over here. Here, go ahead. Read that there, there, uh, Mitch. Sure. Um, proposal number one, Barbecue Tuesday. There it is. <laughs> uh, number two, let's get a daytime moon. That way, no more rain. Boom! <laughs> and uh, number three, create a department of Instagram booty. Too many girls out here faking their cake. It ain't right. It ain't right. You know what? You know what, Herschel? Why don't you just tell them about yourself? Oh, okay, yeah. Thank you, Stitch. Uh, I don't mind if I do. Where's my camera? Is it down here? Uh, no, it's right there, man. It's oh. there. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Hi, America. My name is Herschel Burcho, and I play football for the U.S. Senate. Whenever I'm in hard times, I think of the strength of our founding fathers, George Carver Washington, the Jeffersons, and Benjamin Frankenstein. They changed the world when they got together and wrote the Bible. And when I'm the government, we gonna see. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Miss McConnell and Herschel Walker, everybody. Yeah, we're gonna be looking into that. <laughs> America, really, America. British officials have unveiled King Charles III's new royal monogram. The C stands for Charles, the R is for Rex, and the three is for how many hundreds of yards Prince Andrew has to stay away from schools. <laughs> While performing in Washington, pop star Lizzo played a crystal flute on stage that once was owned by James Madison. Huh, so we have had a gay president. <laughs> the DEA is warning that drug cartels are using rainbow-colored fentanyl to target young people. For concerned parents, here's what rainbow fentanyl looks like. <laughs> The White House has introduced a new plan to put nutrition labels on the front instead of the back. So to give you an idea of the overall health of Americans, we're too lazy to do this. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. It was announced that by 2025, New York will install cameras in every subway car. Huh, I thought it was illegal to put cameras in bathrooms. <laughs> Police in Florida say that multiple shots were fired during a fight outside of Chuck E. Cheese, but there were no victims located. Hmm, maybe check the pizza? <laughs> <laughs> Euphoria star Sydney Sweeney received backlash when Instagram photos from a family event suggested her parents might be Trump supporters. Here to comment is one of our new cast members, Michael Longfellow. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Colin. Hey, Michael. So uh, what do you think of Sidney Sweeney getting all this backlash for having conservative parents? Well, my family's from Arizona, so if you can get in trouble for what your parents think, uh, it's been a good run. <laughs> They're conservative? Well, my dad's anti-COVID vaccine. Uh, he doesn't really believe in the virus, which is crazy because every anti-vax article he sends me gives my computer 10 of them. <laughs> Do you read any of the articles? I try, but there's so much Simpsons porn on the side. <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. Well, you don't feel the need then to like distance yourself from your dad? For being anti-vax? No. You shouldn't cut anti-vax people out of your life. They could be dead tomorrow. <laughs> Spend time with them, call them, get in the will. Right, but the Sydney Sweeney thing wasn't just about the vaccine, it was also her family were Trump supporters, right? Well, Colin, I don't want to shock you, but my dad doesn't hate that guy. <laughs> really? No, he's not one of those anti-vax Arizona liberals you're always reading about. <laughs> you gotta stand up to your parents. When I found out my dad was voting for Trump, I sat him down and I told him, hey, you keep going down this path, I might have to pay for my own car insurance next year. <laughs> Then he told me how much it was, and I said, well, I didn't know that when I said that, so <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and what about the rest of your family? Uh, do you consider stepmom's family? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Ah, uh, shoot. 
<laughs> Listen, family dynamics are complicated. You get it. I imagine a lot of people in your family are Republican. Well, not, not, not really. <laughs> oh, just you? <laughs> I don't know. I'm saying I'm more of like a Bill Maher liberal, you know? Right, a Republican. <laughs> Listen, just to make it super clear, I'm very liberal. I'm not a Republican. I mean, unless I get boarding group A at the airport, then I'll be one for like four minutes, but that's it. Usually I'm like anarchy, chaos, burn the system to the ground. But if I'm in boarding group A, I am like, well, order must prevail. I mean, we are a society after all. Don't touch me, get off me. That's how rich people say, get off me. They always say like one and a half times. Get your hands off, I said get your hands off me. Michael Longfellow, everyone. Thanks, Colin. The CIA is marking its 75th anniversary by launching a podcast. And because it's the CIA, they're launching it directly into an Afghani wedding. <laughs> It's yeah. <laughs> it. New Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney has been accused of spreading white supremacist ideas, which is crazy. We're now counting Italians as white? <laughs> One of the most popular new video games is Trombone Champ, which is a Guitar Hero style game for the trombone. Trombone Champ is also the nickname of a very popular lady in my neighborhood. No. <laughs> a new study says that the combined mass of every ant on Earth is greater than the mass of every mammal and bird combined, thanks mostly to this juicy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this summer, an invasive species, the spotted lantern fly, has spread throughout the Northeast, destroying local vegetation. Experts are so concerned, they are encouraging people to kill them on sight. And if you've seen one, you might agree. Let's take a look. I'm a spotted lantern fly. I don't care what experts say. I'm going to eat your craw. <laughs> Scientists are concerned about my high reproductive capacity because I'm a player. That's why people call me a player. <laughs> my last goals are to lay eggs, be on Judge Judy, and to eat every crop. And there's nothing these stupid farmers can do to change my mind. Wow. Well, let's bring them out. A spotted lantern fly, everyone. Oh, no, no, that's right, that's right. Boo me, boo me. Y'all don't even know. can kiss my ass, AKA my seminal secretion pouch. Whoa, lantern fly, you're, you're coming in a little aggressive. Oh, I'm aggressing. I'm the one who's doing the aggressing, Michael Che. They're telling her children to stop me to death. <laughs> what is this, Mazda Germany? I think you mean Nazi Germany. I don't know what I mean, I'm a bug. <laughs> I'm just trying to live my life find a mate, and have three to 4,000 babies. That's a lot of babies. Hey, they hating, I'm mating, okay? <laughs> Who wouldn't want to sit on this, yeah? Oh, yeah, no, look at that underwing. It's giving rouge. Yeah, oh, this is what y'all look like trying to stop me. Uh, uh, keep stomping. I even look gorgeous dead, bitch. OK, Larry and Fly, relax. <laughs> What do you say to the people accusing you of being an invasive species? Invasive? Oh, my family's been in this country for generations, 80 of them. And how long is that? About four months. <laughs> well, you've also been threatening the local vegetation. Oh, how? How? Oh, because I jump on a tree and stick my mouth on it and suck all the sap out till it's dead. Oh, y'all got a problem with that? Oh, I'm here now, bitch. Cash me outside, sucking all your trees to death. Lantern fly, please calm down. I think people have the right to be upset. I mean, people rely on the crops you're destroying. I don't care. Crops knows what they did. Crops afraid of me. And if I see crops, I'm sucking them on sight. Well, Lantern fly, we got a little surprise for you. Crops is actually here tonight. Oh, hell no. Oh, oh. Let's bring crops out. No. But you ain't doing a lot of sucking. Oh, Come on, yeah. 